Balthazar Newman was born in 1687 and lived to become a great German architect. He was trained in a foundry and also learned about hydraulics and techniques of fireworks display. In 1711, he settled in Würzburg where he developed his career as an architect and city designer as well as a military officer. Newman's major clients were members of the Schonborn family, important political leaders within the hierarchy of the Holy Roman Empire, and major patrons of the arts. Newman's extensive practice included several score churches and almost two dozen palaces, other secular structures, and urban projects. His buildings comprise of some of the most complex and sophisticated explorations of architectural space ever created in the West. In them, space is shaped by open, curved, elegant frameworks and vault shells, rather than being shaped by the continuity of wall. He promoted the integration of painting, statuary, stucco, color, gliding, metalwork, and carving to amplify spatial splendor and specify its meaning. In the 20th century, modern architecture would again be based on continuities of open, transparent space and lightweight minimal structure. Newman's whole philosophy was about creating a spatial environment in all of his buildings, such as this one, where there is a nice open space being created by the rounding of the ceiling. It's shown in modern architecture too, such as here, where they also have a rounded ceiling, but it's kind of not as rounded, giving the whole facade of like an open space, but it's also modernized at the same time. Newman's most ambitious secular structure is the residence in Würzburg, with which he was involved from the beginning to the end of his career. The imposing residence, which served both the court and the government of the principality, was a statement of political prestige, the impressive representation of a well-organized wealthy state. Newman's churches are greater in number and design variety than his almost two dozen palaces in which the epic power of his architectural language is boldest. He employed a range of design stra strategies to achieve extraordinary spatial compositions, exploring relations between spatial figures, their arrangements within differently shaped outer shells and lucid transparencies of the whole. He choreographed movement in the architecture, orchestrated light, and promoted the elaboration of all his innovations by means of various artistic media such as painting, sculpture, stucco, and gliding. His great pilgrimage church at Viers and Hillian completed in 1772, and monumental Benedictine monastery church at Narashim completed in 1792 are two of his most spectacular churches. Newman also undertook urban design projects for Würzburg, including its water system, transforming the walled medieval town into a representative resident city. He built houses, monasteries, hospitals, a hotel, a city hall, a courthouse, and miscellaneous religious structures, as well as fortifications for several towns, barracks, bridges, gardens, and fireworks displays. Newman worked within the design traditions for secular and sacred architecture that extend back into the 16th century. Even the more recent phenomenon of an architecture based on space composition had become an accepted approach among Newman's Central European contemporaries, such as the Azan brothers and Johann Michael Fischer, the Vorarlberg architects and the Dienzenhofers. Newman accepted this common ground only as a point of departure for explorations of architectural space that showed astonishing range and brilliance. With consuming authority, he combined clarity with complexity in a plan and section. He boldly charged interiors with light and dematerialized mass and thrust both into powerful encounters with space. Newman orchestrated spatial experiences for the beholder in ways that were at once striking, lucid, and imposing, gradually revealed, demanding, and human, thereby transforming standard architectural assemblages into unique and bold statements. Throughout his life, Newman remained an officer in the bishop's military and continued to concern himself with problems of military engineering. He also developed a fresh water supply for the city of Würzburg in 1730, built a glass factory and a mirror factory in 1733, and taught military and civil engineering at the University of Würzburg. Newman was fairly prosperous, the owner of vineyards and a fine country house. Although under the less splendid successors of the Sean Borden bishops, he was not always able to build as he would have wished. He continued to concern himself until his death with plans for great palaces, complete with vast and complex stairways, such as his designs for the Hofburg in Vienna in 1747 and the palaces of Stuttgart in 1747, 1749, and 1750, and Karlsruhe in 1749, none of which were executed. Balthazar Newman died in Würzburg, Germany on July 18, 1753, as a colonel and an inspiring architect.